A 2N Long Python was injured after members of the public pulled it out from a car's engine compartment on Saturday morning. At around 8 a.m., Animal Concerns Research and Education Society ACUS received a call to rescue a reticulated python stuck in the engine compartment of a sports utility vehicle at an open-air housing board car park in Marine Crescent. According to ACUS co-chief executive Kole Vanan Balakrishnan, the society's rescuers saw a crowd of people near the vehicle when they arrived, with some trying to catch the snake. He added that the python was in the car's undercarriage, which is often warm and offers reptiles, like pythons, refuge. Mr. Vannon said, however, it also acts as a quick hiding spot, should the snake feel threatened. Which is what I think happened in this case. With people crowding, the snake entered the vehicle to hide. The python was lodged in a very tight space, making its head inaccessible, said Mr. Vannon. He added that a sea hook, also known as a coil lifting hook, was used to reach its tail, and the back half of the python was slowly eased out. But the python, native to Singapore, had called itself around a tube in the engine compartment and the rescue team could not reach it without a mechanic. Chinese news outlet Xin Min Daily News quoted the car owner's son, saying that the python was originally lying on top of the engine compartment. But it called itself around the tube after a man used a stick to poke at the snake. To avoid damage to the vehicle or injury to the snake, Acres rescue team waited for his veterinarian to arrive so that the snake could be sedated and safely removed. Unfortunately, while we were waiting to regroup, a member of public took matters into his own hands and pulled the snake out, which caused some injuries to the animal, said Mr. Vannon. While waiting for the veterinarian to arrive, the rescue team had gone to attend to another urgent case nearby, he added. According to Shin Min, three men had used sticks to poke at the snake before they pulled the python out by the tail. They then tied its mouth and put the reptile into a bag that was used to store flour. The team from Acres took over shortly after the snake was caught, Mr. Vannon said. However, the python had already suffered from scrapes on its skin and was bleeding in its mouth. Acres' objective is to retrieve the snake safely with no harm to snake, people and property. We do not rush our rescues, said Mr. Vannon, adding that the snake will be microchipped and released. If anyone encounters a python, he should keep a safe distance, monitor it and call Acres for advice. Mr. Vannon added. One should not try to catch the snake or to provoke it, he said as there have been many instances where the public have tried to catch a snake, but injured it or themselves instead. Snakes in general are shy animals, said Mr. Vannon. Some species, like the reticulated python, have adapted to our urban landscape and are not dangerous.